GTS. I'm Donna Lopez, and this is your channel message for October 27th through to November 2nd. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a channel. I open up and I bring in the energies and the insight that will be useful for the coming week. So let's take a look at this. Okay, well, right away they're like taking this with my hands. I feel like we're going to get in touch with ourselves. We're going to do some higher, lower self communication, our higher self communicating with our lower self, uh, getting attuned, getting um, centered, connected to our inner self, to our inner flow, to uh, what's in us that needs to be uh, shown out in the world. Um, but also I feel for a lot of us, we'll be pulling some masks off or actually uh, we're going to be, it's almost as if I see some of you have your light covered up and it's like taking this, this uh, blanket off or this, uh, not quite a blanket, that's kind of heavy, but you know, let's just say, I, I, I don't want to be so, um, <laughs> whatever, a veil, right? But it's like taking the veil off. So I feel like you're going to be showing yourself more. And getting yourself out there in the world, communicating with people more, uh, really from your heart center. Um, also, I see you bringing a lot of new things into yourself. It's like, I want to do that, so I'm bringing that to myself. It's like you're consciously aware that you are bringing things into yourself. Uh, with the help of spirit, of course. Um, and I don't want to mean, I don't mean that in terms of, of course, like, of course, we know that spirits know sometimes we're the ones that want to drag it in and make it happen. When you're in communication with what is, uh, works through us, what is us, uh, we're in a partnership. Okay. And so I see you in this partnership of knowing that it will come forward and it will come to fruition for you. Um, I hear a job offer for some of you also. And, um, I, I feel as though I'm, I'm hearing misplaced or displaced. So it's like this job opening is coming in and it's being misplaced or displaced. So um, in other words, I feel like you'll be offered it, but, but I feel like there'll be some little parts of it that need to be worked out. You still get the job, so they want you to know that you're going to get the job. It's just some of the things have to be um, networked or uh, worked out first so that um when you step in that everything's fully functioning and ready for you okay so know that any delays are for you not um to hurt you okay um <clears throat> all right <laughs> it's funny because they're taking my um this is uh, i don't know if i can point right there that, this talking stick that i made uh one of the first circles or classes that i did i had so many people trying to help each other you know when they were just sharing it's like no no we need a talking stick and i feel like they're going up to this talking stick and they're taking it down and i feel like i see you handing it to different people and allowing them to share their story uh so that's a representation of course of, of you allowing people to share their story with you so know that when they are that to just be a good listener they're not looking for advice uh they're not looking for direction they just need someone to hear their story and that's you okay and 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 i hear because there uh there's no judgment you know because there'll be a nice balance all right and healing uh, just by being able to express it with someone that's able to just hear it and where you can just say, well, that that's interesting. Thank you for sharing, you know, or just holding sacred space for them. Mm -hmm. For some of you, I see you contemplating some new awareness, some new ideas. Um, but they said, don't get in your own head. They said, let things just flow. Let things just flow. Because I see it's like they're working my thumbs like this, okay, and they're showing, you know, things are working out, and then all of a sudden they slow down and they start to get stuck because you start to think too much and get stuck in your head about details. And I said, mm -mm, don't worry about the details. You know, life isn't, well, sometimes it is in the details, so I don't want to say it's not in the details, but we can really trip ourselves up. So they're just saying, just you know, let the thoughts flow and there's some new gifts and new ideas coming to you and some coming out of the cocoon and really um, freeing yourself up. I feel like some of you have been in a self-imposed sort of imprisonment, um, one of your own making. And um, it's almost as if the stickier the cobwebs got around you that you created, um, it's like you almost did it to, to stop yourself or to slow yourself down. 
but now it's become like a little bit of a stumbling block, okay? And so they're saying, um, don't worry, Spirit's going to clear that up for you, so don't get mixed up in the details on this, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. You know, I see a lot of things being moved out of the way for you, just moved out of the way just like this. Um, think of it as if you have a crummy roommate and, uh, or a roommate that's messy, okay, and you're just thinking, God, I wish they'd clean their stuff up, or, oh, I wish they'd move, and all of a sudden, one day, you come home, the house is clean, and you come home, they go, hey, I found a better place to live. Thank you, God. <laughs> so, I see things just moving out of the way for you, and it's going to happen really quickly and, like, just in one quick shot. So, get ready for quick change, quick change. Mm -hmm. pay, pay attention to what you've been thinking that you want or that you'd like to see or that you would um, like to experience because spirit is listening and it's going to happen really quickly. So be ready. So even though it looks like it's happening like this, you've been thinking the thought and bringing the, the, the um, I, I hear pressure, the pressure in on it. So it's going to happen really quickly, but it'll be because of the thought patterns that have been kind of bringing this forward. Hmm. For some of you, they want you to practice a bliss state more often. In other words, they want you to have a little more love and compassion for others, love and compassion for the earth, love and compassion for your enemies, love and compassion for things that you do understand and that you don't understand. Because the things you don't understand and the things you do understand are not very different. Mm -hmm. They're very much the same. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right, for some of you, um, be mindful that uh, I feel as though some of you may, uh, I'm going to say this with love, but may kind of spout off and um, take your hurt, your anger, your own self-judgment out on others, uh, start projecting. And a lot of it is because of pressure that you've got built up inside yourself that you need to release. And it doesn't have to do with others as much as it has to do with the judgments you're putting on yourself. Hmm. All right, they're saying don't deal with annoyances. I, I just feel like there's going to be some little things that are going to really get in your last nerve in a way. But they're saying let go of it. Let go of it. Don't get involved in it. There's things that there's annoyances coming up that just need to come up and get cleared. So just let it happen. Don't get a, a, all involved in how it looks or how it should be. Just stand back and observe. All right. A lot less trouble that way. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm, I'm getting like a church here. Okay. All right. So this could have to do with a church or an organization. So be mindful. Hmm. All right. For some of you, I see some new learning and some new knowledge coming in. I see you having a great time. I mean, like having a blast. It's like when a kid gets to put on rain boots and go out and play in the rain and make splashes and everything. They're having so much fun. That's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be being creative. You're going to be having fun, but you're also going to be um, expanding your knowledge and growing and learning. All right, so enjoy the process. I, I see a lot of fun with this. For some of you, it may actually have to do with yarn or something to do with yarn because I'm seeing yarn with this as well. Hmm. I also see business uh, being in, being addressed earlier in the week rather than later in the week. I don't feel like it's heavy business, but I feel that there's uh, papers that need to be signed. Like um, almost it has to do with something like reliability. Like, you know, you're going to sign this and say, I, I will be the responsible person or I will be uh, reliable towards this debt or, um, you know, but I, I feel like it's just details that need to be signed off. I see that in the beginning though. For some of you, I feel uh, father energy coming in, but I'm also feeling pressure. Um, It's very interesting the way I've seen this. Um, it's almost as if your father, when they were on this side of life, put a lot of pressure on you to do certain things or to show up a certain way in life. And I feel like, I, it's almost like I can feel it right in the center of my chest. 
uh, almost in the top of my gut, but center of my chest area there, the esophageal area. And uh, they're saying, please take some of that pressure off yourself. Your father is stepping in and saying he's sorry. He just wanted to see you do things right and was trying to help you, but he didn't mean to put that kind of pressure on you. So please don't put pressure on yourself trying to uh, honor your father's memory, all right? Or we keep keeping his memory alive by repeating that pressure um, aspect on yourself that was created from a distortion in the field of love. From a father to a son, father to a daughter. All right. For a lot of you, I see you are going off on your own. Uh, emotionally, I see you making big strides. It's like I, it's not that you don't need anybody. It's just where you're going and what you're going to do. You want to be very light and you want things to flow very easily. So you're just going to take off and go and get it done. And uh, I feel pretty good about that. It's like deep emotional strides being taken. Um, and and uh, I feel... Um, it's almost as if you want to do things on your own because you know that you need to learn by doing and you need, you know, we can learn from others, but this is something you need to learn on your own. And, um, I see you making great strides and moving very quickly with all of this. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I see a lot of, for the whole week, they're just showing a lot of physical energy, a lot of energy moving forward. Um, I don't feel it like this, but I just see it like that really quick like I said things are gonna move away really quickly um, but but I feel it's a smooth ride but strong energy strong like kind of like Mars Aries type energy just very uh, forward moving and uh, swift kind of swift mm -hmm. and they're they're saying again um, let go let go don't try to get entangled in things and if you're the one that's taking off and moving quickly um, you know, ju just know that you're you're being led, all right? That you're meant to be on that forward motion. So it feels pretty good. All right, I'm going to pull a card. I already shuffled here. If I want to. All right, it says, um, I am health. Each and every one of my cells is constantly regenerating and radiating light. I attune to the divine love within me and let it flow through every cell of my body. I breathe in life and the energy flows freely within me. I'm eternal youth. Eternal health and eternal light. There you go. All right. Thank you so much. Namaste.